I've been making tutorials for many years now, and as a consequence of that, many of my tutorials are made with older versions of Blender. So from time to time, people are coming across my older tutorials, for example this one, that just doesn't work anymore in Blender version 4.0. So in this video, I'm just going to give you a quick tip on how you can open basically any tutorial and follow along with it. First, what you want to do, you want to go to blender.org, and then let's scroll all the way down, and here you can see you have these previous versions right here, and then you want to go to download any Blender, and here you can see every single version of Blender, as well as when they were released. So I was an idiot when I made this video and I didn't say which version it was. But if you scroll down here and you can click on more, you can see that this video was actually posted on March 10th, 2020. So let's go back to the index of release and let's find 12th of March 2020. So let's do the previous version, which is Blender version 2.81. So if you download this, I have Windows, so I'm just going to download the zip version, which is portable. I don't have to install it. Yeah, I'm just going to extract it to a folder. Okay, so in here, I'm just going to launch this Blender version. So now here you can see we have Blender version 2.81. And now you should be able to follow along this entire Blender tutorial in that correct version. And when you're finished, you want to save this just as a regular Blend file. I'm just going to save this to my desktop, tutorial result. And then maybe you can add Blender version 2.80, was it 81? Yeah and then maybe version one. Okay, so let's just save this. And now let's exit this. And now let's open up the latest version of Blender. For me, that is Blender version 4.0. And there are two things I wanna do. First of all, I wanna delete everything. So A and then X to delete, because then we won't have any naming issues. And also I wanna change the name of our scene. So let's call this just something. You just want to have some text other than scene <laughs> in it. Okay, and now let's press F4, append, and then go to desktop. And then you can find your tutorial result. You double click and then let's go to the folder called scene and here we have our scene. So now when you click append, you can just delete this fake scene that we made. And now everything that is in this blend file was originally working in 2.81. So it's a really high chance that it will work in 4.0 or higher as well. So this is a method I use all the time when opening older project files or doing stuff like that. It is really handy. Oh, and by the way, here's a really nice trick. If you have a blend file and you don't know what version it was, you can actually open it in notepad and it might take a while but eventually the first line will say the blender version that's it i feel a little bit bad that so many people are getting stuck on my older videos because they aren't really future proof all of them you know blender is getting improvements and that means that sometimes it breaks backwards compatibility and i'm fine with that but hopefully this video can be helpful for you or if you see someone else struggling you can send it to them and it's a nice way of accessing older Blender files. And for me, I think it's a little bit nostalgic as well to play around with older versions of Blender. So yeah, I hope this helps. If you see someone that is stuck, maybe you can send them this video and uh, that will work. Thanks for watching.